All right, here's the basic ingredients. It's really so simple. You got two cups, just white flour, and then some white wheat flour or some wheat flour. You're gonna need a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, and a cup and a half of warm water. Two and three quarters teaspoons of yeast. I'm gonna come back and get that working with just a pinch of sugar. About a teaspoon of salt in here. Let that work. All right, now my yeast and water has set for five minutes. I'm gonna take my three cups of assorted flours and I'm just gonna gently mix them up. Very quickly, it becomes nice and doughy. Now I'm gonna take this and the most lengthy part of the process is the rising of the flour. I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna take it inside where it's a little bit warmer. I'm gonna let it set for about four hours. All right. So our four hours has passed. Now we're gonna pull our dough out of here. And you're gonna see pretty quickly that we got some good looking dough right here. I'm not gonna do much to it. I'm just gonna work it a little bit. Now here's the part where you're probably thinking, okay, I've never cooked in a Dutch oven. If you're a pro, you know the deal. You can almost eyeball your coals and know exactly how much you have to have for 300 degrees, 350 degrees. In this case, we need about 425 degrees. So how do you do that? Well, look here at this book. The handy little lodge book tells you right here, Dutch oven cooking. This is a 12 inch. If I want a 425 degree temperature, which I do for bread, this is gonna cook about 40 minutes. And you can do this with coals from wood. It makes it a lot easier if you start out with charcoal briquettes. To get a 425 degree temperature, we need 10 on the bottom, 21 on the top, which we've done. I've also taken some lard and put in the bottom of that pan. Now I'm gonna take my dough, and see how nice that looks? I'm gonna put it back in the bowl, and I'm gonna let it rise for another half hour. While we have that last half hour of dough to rise, that's when we get our pan preheated and ready to go. All right, the half hour has passed. We're gonna do one more little roll around here. We're gonna take our bread, get it in a nice little round shape, and we're gonna pop it directly in the pan. Here's our future bread. And we are good to go. Now keep an eye on your briquettes. If you see them burning down, you can replace them. And give that a bit. Now we'll go see what Nikki's doing in the kitchen. You know, so many times we're cooking outside and, and people will ask, you know, how many briquettes does it take right. to get X amount of heat on top and bottom? <laughs> I never remember. But you know what? There's charts out there that can tell you charts all that sort wonderful. of thing. Charts are wonderful. I like charts. But just tonight to prove, we got our cast iron right here. We, we do. Preheated our oven to 400. Now tell us, Mrs. Farmer, if you will, what you did different. What we this. did different. Well, we did the basic with exactly like you did outside. Mm -hmm. The only thing is different before I added the flour. You had the great idea, I mean, it's Italian night. We did oregano, rosemary, and what was it? Basil. Basil. And we did a teaspoon of each of those, and I actually mixed that in with the yeast and the water. You mixture. did it. Yeah, and then I added the flour. So if you can see the bread here, it's got all the spices mixed in it. So and this the should smell. be so tasty. You can't imagine when that comes out, putting I can't some wait. butter on there. And, I'm gonna eat half ah. of it. All right, I think the oven's getting there. Okay. Let me open it for you. Yes. Let's bring that bread out. It looks perfect. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to turn this oven off. I'm going to put some butter on that. What oh, do you yeah. think? Oh, yeah. Let that butter sink in. Now, look how that look how that came out. It's got the hard surface, like the old-fashioned bread. I like it. Mmm, let that sink in. You smell that? I do. This kitchen. <laughs> this kitchen smells absolutely beautiful right it now. It does. All right, so we got our butter. On our bread. Maybe a little more, just let it sit let on there. Soak that up. Oh, I'm so excited. Now you could sprinkle a little garlic on there if you wanted That's to. That's perfect. All right, let's set that out of the way, Mrs. Farmer. All right. Let's get our soup going here. 